Hi, my husband and I just got back from our week-long trip to New England and Canada, also known as our second wedding anniversary trip. So we did a lot of leaf peeping. Most of it will be me talking to you and the rest will be photos that I'm going to cover and whatever kind of audio I need to add in. But hopefully you'll like it and see some neat stuff. And this is my intro. See you later. First, we drove from Sheboygan all the way to Toledo, Ohio, stopping only in Chicago so our little dog could use the bathroom. Road trip podcast, part mm -hmm. one. I need coffee before I can talk on the podcast. <laughs> How are you doing this morning, Brittany? You doing good? So we're in Toledo, Ohio, but Where I don't are you know. Going? Somewhere in New York. Hi, we've um, been in the car for about five hours, and we are finally at Niagara Falls on the American side. You have a waterfall here. Like, I did it too much to fall. All I know is uh -huh. I have to. Ooh, a squirrel. Hi, Mr. Squirrel. Okay. Let's go look at the abyss. What are you doing, Checking in. So awesome. Look, there it goes, there it goes. Okay, viewing two falls. River Rapids viewing. Do you want to see the rapids? Let's go this way, I want to go this way. Okay. Luna Island. Tell us about it. It was named um, in the early 19th century from the lunar rainbows. People could see at night when the moon was full. But now, I guess you can't really see those rainbows anymore because of all the artificial light and the decreased water flow. But it's still pretty awesome. Now what? Now we're going to go get some buffalo wings because it's the 50 year anniversary of buffalo wings being made in Buffalo, New York. It's a good thing we planned that, huh? Yeah. We slept in the car. All the hotels were taken. crossover from Albany basically. Bennington, Vermont. I thought it'd be a cool place to start at the kind of southwest tip of Vermont and head up through a little park that's really gorgeous right now it looks like. You, know, you probably can't see it behind me that well but um, what we, we have, there's a monument we'll show you. And we found out, just to pull over and see what sites there are to see, that Robert Frost is buried here. So we're gonna go check out his grave. I'm really excited about that. So I had to change clothes and put on makeup for Robert Frost because it would just be a dishonor to go meet the man that way, looking like I did, because I slept in the car all night. All the hotels were taken. We slept in the car. It was not very pleasant, but we slept okay, actually. Well, here we are at Old North Church behind Theron, which is gorgeous. Look how old these graves are. Not as old as the ones in Concord, but they're old for sure. Brigby, get off of there. Brigby, come here. You can't go on there. Love at the lips was touch, as sweet as I could bear. And once that seemed too much, I lived on air that crossed me from sweet things, the flow of was it musk, from hidden grapevine springs, downhill at dusk. The herd is not enough. I long for weight and strength to feel the earth as rough to all my length. And I guess he's doing that now. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's so Hi, nice here. What? It's so nice here. I'm going to do beautiful. like a... Perfect, perfect weather, perfect day. Yeah, we got lucky, I think. Oh, this beautiful is cool. Day. See you later.
Well, as you could probably tell, we have a bed tonight in a really nice room with pretty yellow walls. And we just ate probably too much Turkish food, but the metzes, the dips were amazing. Probably the best baba ghanish I've ever had. So that was fantastic. And we'll probably be going to bed soon because it's only 9.20, but we are exhausted. Um, and then we'll see. Tomorrow's another day. Good night. Good night, sweet baby. Good night, everybody. It's the New England podcast. I'll see you now. Yeah, I'll see you. Let's go see. Let's go see. Okay, let's go see what mom's doing. The light in this bathroom is a lot more forgiving than the light in the bathroom in Toledo. And plus, everything's yellow. So come on. So we're in Essex, Vermont, which of course is outside of Burlington. And what we've decided to do today is at 1:30, we've got it planned out already. We're going to go to the ropes and rock climbing course. Um, we'll videotape that a little bit for you. Uh, we can't take your camera with us, but maybe if I tell them that we're doing a podcast, we'll be able to. Probably not. I doubt it. Um, but we're so popular and important on uh, YouTube. Series. Yeah. Um, but before that, we're going to go see Burlington, see the Lake Champlain. We're going to go see the lakefront, get some pancakes with Vermont maple syrup, and then probably go back to the course. And then we're going to try and see Ben and Jerry's. We'll see if that happens. Um, but that's what's going to happen now. And we'll see you there. Today is officially our two year wedding anniversary. Love you, baby. Love you, buddy. Um, strawberry crepe, but we're sharing because um, I really wanted the apple one. So <laughs> this is my first taste of Vermont maple syrup, and I thought it looks like honey, but Darren says it's maple syrup. I'm not crazy; that actually is honey. I was wondering why it tasted so much like honey. This is maple syrup. We had to ask for it. It was a dollar extra. As you can see, it's a lot runnier, and it's not my favorite maple syrup. However, the roast beets are really good. Really good. And this is Vermont cheese. Nice. Walk backwards a little bit. Walk backwards. Yeah, close your eyes. Walk backwards. Close your eyes. <laughs> what are we going to do now? Go rock climbing. <laughs> okay, so this is what we're going to do. Uh, two hours of rock climbing, some rope stuff, some zip lining, which I don't see, but I'm good. I see it. It's right there. Oh, the bubble's right here. I thought some might be in the woods. We can't fill it for you. We still haven't told them we're doing a podcast. So maybe if we go inside. I don't think so. <laughs> no. Okay. Well, we'll take pictures and we'll put them in. See you later. That's so, fast, Kat. Can I tell you what? You what? should never do a You're fast. Because it's something where it happens to you. And you're on the way. Three. Woo! Good job. Good job, Lenny. You it. got it. Of course. Mine didn't make a sound. I got it. Okay. I gotta go to that one? Yeah, you can go to that one. Okay. 
Come, come around this one. Come around that one. Come around. <laughs> you don't have to hold on to me. <laughs> you're such a little girl. You, you look like a firefighter. Here we are at Ben and Jerry's Flavor Graveyard. So we haven't taken the tour yet, but it's going to be dark probably by the time we get out. So we wanted to go look at the flavors that have been buried and discontinued. You my should grandma, never discontinue ice cream. My grandma's favorite flavor was discontinued, and I'm trying to find it, but I don't remember what it was called. It's hard to focus on you when you're jumping. Why are you happy? I don't know, I'm having a fun day. What you got there? Ben and Jerry's. Two hour tickets. travelers. Though we did wait in line for, I would say, over two hours to try and cross the border into Canada, we were that close. They checked our passports, everything was fine, and we didn't have Wrigley's rabies paperwork. We did not get to go into Canada, and so our two-year anniversary dinner will be Domino's Pizza and some sodas, and tomorrow we're going to try to cross the border again <laughs> with the papers. Maybe. What are you doing, Brady? The opposite of stressed. You should see the you should see the stressed face though. Oh, Brady. He was being very good at customs, mm -hmm. but he was he was stressed. He likes to play with these ones. There's also a continental breakfast that they make your own waffle station. Hey, maybe they got some uh, Vermont syrup. Uh, maybe. Wouldn't be surprised. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> so now we are on the road again. It's nine in the morning. And so we're headed back up to the Canadian border. This time we have Grey Leafs papers with us, so it should be good. Quebec! Bienvenue à Quebec! Oh, there's the bonjour.
Sushi Shop. Sushi Shop, that's the name of the place. This is a very small one, it's a chain of a few here in Quebec City. They're also in Montreal. Well, we'll show you the rolls when we get them, but they look completely different than anything we've ever seen. So we had to try them. We had this enormous lunch dinner around three. It was uh, soup and some tea, and Darren had a raised stew, and I had this amazingly chicken, vegetable, creamy stuff on top of a puff pastry, which you know I can't say no to. And it was actually really, really good pie. I don't even like pie, but it was good pie. We got out, and the night's beautiful. Of course, I'll be inserting pictures as I say this stuff, and now it's such a gorgeous city. And so we're really glad we got out. The word for spicy in French is épicé. So if you want your sushi spicy, you want it épicé. Well, we finished our sushi for the night, and um, it was interesting. I will say that. And now we're going to meander down the old streets. This one's not. I point to one that's not old. We're done with our day and we decided we're gonna have some tea. So I'm gonna be safe and go with green tea. Hey, Mary. What tea do you want? The hot chocolate kind. You want hot chocolate? <laughs> you said you wanted tea. Do you really want hot chocolate? Yeah. And maybe some tea there after. Should have known better. Not to go Whoa. Should have cool. It was really neat. That was the milk. That's the, yeah, the chocolate. There's a chocolate. Just a little kid. I think we need one for the kitchen. I do think, I agree, I think we need one for the kitchen as well. What shall we chat about, though? What are the Montreal goals? We have a lot of them. Our friend Megan, she gave us lots of um, suggestions. So, mm -hmm. kind of like cool happening bohemian streets and places to get good, good food and whatnot. And then my friend Kimberly Kinney gave us a couple restaurants to try, so we have a huge mission ahead of us. Right now we're in a park in Quebec City, which I believe is called the Plains of Abraham. And we're um, heading out to Montreal in a minute. It's 60 something outside, and that's why we're both wearing short sleeve shirts. It's really gorgeous here. Get down. Darren doesn't like me being up here. Oh, I wonder why. Why would I not like that? <laughs> it's not that far. No, oh, I'm sure you would survive. Perfectly intact. I, I bounce like a baby. <laughs> Apologize for not taking video of us walking and checking out St. Denis and St. Lawrence streets. I would like.
like to say that Theron and I both have, what did you call them? Abominations. Abomination babies in our tummies <laughs> from the crazy, crazy food we just ate. We were at the Pied de Cochon restaurant, which is Pigfoot restaurant. And a lot of the food was literally lots of food. So like it would be beef with bacon and foie gras, maybe. So we got a salad, because what we ordered was actually called duck in a can. It was a duck in a can. And so that takes 30 minutes to make, so we uh, got a salad. And Theron really liked it. I did not care for it very much. Whatever I did care for was fantastic. And I suggest anyone going to this restaurant in Montreal go just for this specific thing. It's a $4, two bites of deep fried foie gras that tastes so creamy and mushroomy and comforting and good. It was just decadent and delicious and it didn't seem that decadent because it was pure liquid on the inside but it wasn't too hot it was like perfect temperature home <sighs> so good the duck in a can i would not order again it was like one of their yeah one of their classic dishes so the duck was fine it was cooked well i mean it was duck and um had a whole flop of fat with it you'll see the pictures obviously and theron likes foie gras cooked that way so he likes lobes of foie gras so that worked out for him it came with i guess half a head of garlic and Lots of onions. Vegetables. And, and there was um, pureed cauliflower on top of some, some toast, and that was really good. Also, their sourdough bread was really good. So I would say it's a neat place to check out. Definitely worth checking out. Better than I expected. We left in jubilant moods, and they're in singing songs, so that's always a good thing. And babies eating dog food. Yeah. So tomorrow we have lots of plans. We're going to go get some bagels from a famous old bagel shop. We're going to go up to Mont Royal and check out the park and the cemetery. And we're gonna go to the cat cafe. Hmm. The third does not wanna go, but I feel the need to go to a cat cafe. We're gonna get that cat disease. We might already have it. I don't think so. We have to go to the cat cafe. <laughs> Anyways, this is Montreal day one. Um, sorry it wasn't more video, but at least there's pictures. Here we are at one of the two oldest bagel shops in all of Montreal. It is St. Viator or probably San Viator. I'm not really sure how to say this bagels. The other one is nearby, but I'm not sure where, but this is the one I was told to go to by my friend. Um, it should not have surprised me that when we were driving around looking for parking, we were actually in a Jewish neighborhood, apparently. Duh. Bagel shop. All right, let's go see if they're as good as they say. I got a rosemary and salt bagel because I've never had a rosemary bagel, and I love rosemary. Any man that watches my podcast should know that, so. Is it good? Not okay. <laughs> Where's the bagel? Oh. Oh. Oh, my bagel. It's not great. Now I feel like I should try the other place. Okay, so we just stopped at Fairmont Bagels, and this place is tiny inside, but I got some pictures so you can see the difference. Uh, I got a blueberry bagel. That looks better, actually. It does, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm, yum. That's better. Mm -hmm. So we wound up in a Chilean. Coffee shop. We both wanted coffee, and now the bagel places seem to sell coffee. So here we are on Mont Royal, and as you may or may not know, half of the park is actually a park with, you know, monuments and cool stuff to see, and hiking trails and overlooks, and the rest of it is a cemetery, which is interesting. And we're in the cemetery part. It's just really foggy today, as well as rainy, and you can't see anything. So we might not be hiking after all. Here we are at the beautiful Montreal Overlook Observatory. Last night it was full of Audis blasting totally ghetto music and marijuana everywhere. And it was, you could actually see the city though. But now, you can see the view is a little compromised. <laughs> those are pretty. Yeah, those are lovely. Okay, here we are right in front of the cat cafe. As you can see, there are cats inside. What else is inside? We don't know. We're about to find out. Crazy cat ladies? Uh, kitty litter, cat poop, cat vomit, fur balls, cat dander. <laughs> Someone's really excited about going. Food. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. 
All right, so that's the cat cafe. So far, the only weird thing about it is that we actually had to sanitize our hands when we came in. I don't know about you, but I think we have to get the meow piado. Hello, kitty. She's a good kitty. That's a good kitty. When we first came to this place, I thought that was going to be weird. And then we came inside and I was like, it's not that weird. And now I'm thinking it's a little bit weirder than I thought initially. My. I really miss Brigley. Darn Brigley. <laughs> Alright. Who's the douche reading the dog magazine in the cat cafe? <laughs> <laughs> Even the cats like cats here. Darkness is falling over Ontario province, as you guys call them. We just stopped in Kingston, and the downtown area of Kingston was super duper adorable. And the, the city place was not in downtown, it was outside downtown, and pretty ghetto looking area. And so Theron was not so sure about it. But the reviews were really good on Yelp and Google, and they were spot on, it was really yummy. The uni was delicious, the unagi was pretty darn good. The salmon, Theron said really good salmon. The egg, oh my gosh, the portions were huge. And the egg sashimi was delicious. And the roll we got, we did California roll as a base. And I topped it with different kinds of fish. And on top of that, I did spicy salmon, and that was really good. But then when we finished that, the chef gave us each a piece of, I guess, the spicy tuna roll or something. I don't know what it was. Amazing. It was like this big. And, you, and it had seared salmon on top, and you put it in your mouth, ah, somehow. It was fantastic. It was delicious. And then we had sesame seed ice cream, which was like gunmetal gray. It was so cool. Uh, so we had a lot of fun there. And now we're headed to Toronto to spend the night. Hi from Toronto. Driving in was a lot of rain and we were a little bit nervous and exhausted and we're staying in a nice Marriott down on, on what used to be a hippie area but is probably now like the business slash super super fancy area. And um, because we always get food when we get somewhere and it was late, we were tired, we didn't go out, I ordered in and I ordered a lot. What'd you get? I got poutine because Darren hasn't had it yet. It has cheese, cheese curds. curds and gravy and everything poutine is supposed to have. I got crab croquettes which is basically crab cakes. I got a baked kale salad, and I got chicken stuffed with goat cheese with beets and Brussels sprouts. So we will be eating what we want and saving the rest. Yeah, I know you want something. I make bad decisions. I'm tired. Oh, you're walking me down this way? It was built in 1910 and it costs $48 to get in to the castle. $10 parking. Yeah, so it's quite beautiful. It's quite beautiful. I think they're still in financial turmoil. Yeah, I think they must be. So we're going to look around. I guess we'll, we'll get the audio self guided tour, so I guess we'll get the audio and we're going to get some food and coffee. Maybe first. We're always delayed on the food and coffee. We tried. I tried this morning though. I know. Couldn't find any place, a city, like there inside it's downtown, and all there was were Starbucks. Alright, let's go. Thank goodness we're at a sushi place in Detroit. Well, Royal Oaks outside Detroit, but part of Detroit sort of. 
the best part of the castle, by the way, was the old car exhibit. That was really cool. We saw some Model Ts underneath the castle, kind of, down a long hallway, and that was really nifty. Otherwise, Toronto is definitely a city you need to plan for. It's huge. You're, it's really big. It's 2,600,000 people, so it's much like you know, in Chicago or like any major city, we're going to pay a lot of parking and try and get public transit or taxis or walk. Which, which now we know, well, we didn't know that and we only had half a day, so. Then we drove for about four hours to get to Detroit, and it was kind of awesome. We were underneath the bridge, and there was a Canadian American flag, and knew there would be. Then we were in Detroit, and bam, it was a big city. So here we are at Little Tree Sushi, and we're gonna have some sushi. And that will be the end of our night. So it's Saturday morning here in the Motor City, and we are at General Motors looking at some cars. What is that? Is that a Corvette? Yeah. <laughs> Good job, buddy. And a second ago, we were right across the river from Canada, and as we parked, it, the sun was shining on the Canadian houses, and everywhere else it was dark, and the river was sparkling silver. It was really cool. And now we're in this really awesome building that GM made. She wants to drive. Not yet, little one. check out some of the old buildings in Detroit that are still supposed to be Art Deco and pretty and I guess then we'll go. Okay. Unfortunately, only a couple of the buildings we wanted to see were open to us, but we still had a good time. Then we stopped at Small Plates for lunch. We enjoyed a deconstructed Caesar salad, and Theron liked their take on huevos rancheros. I had the best chicken and waffles I've ever had. Also, it had bacon. Then, after giving Breely a yummy egg, it was onward to Chicago. Here we are at Yoshi's Cafe in Chicago. It's actually not that dark in here, but it looks like it. Ooh, it's spooky. Anyway, we're in Chicago, so we're a lot closer to home, about three hours away, and we're having uh, dinner, even though we ate a lot earlier, because it's Yoshi's. And it's the end of our anniversary trip. And Nobuko and Yoshi look amazing and gave us hugs, and Junior and Dennis are awesome. And Dennis was like, I didn't know you guys were coming this way, so it's kind of awesome. And then uh, the new uh, host guy was like, do you used to work here? <laughs> no. Anyway, um, where are Yoshi's? Is it okay? Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Watching the videos, you were watching them with me. Bien, on you, Quebec! 